Here are a few little clips from my session with Sierra. We were reunited after a two month absence. And the first thing I do is allow us to run for joy. She gets all excited. Please notice she never hits the end of the leaf rope. That's already a first sign that she's happy to see me. She's not trying to get away from me. We are actually having fun and laughing together and having a great time. She's snorting with glee and running, but look at that beautiful loose lead line. I couldn't put her at liberty because they were working on the arena and there was a huge opening for her to leave should she choose. <laughs> I'm struggling to catch my breath, but it feels so good to be loved by her and to see how much she enjoys our interaction. Good to see you again. I'm happy to see you too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's do the back side. You want to do the back side? I think we need it, so. Ready? Now start the shoulder in. Beautiful. That is so good. You're amazing. <laughs> You're amazing. You look amazing. So great. We've reacquainted ourselves with each other. And now let's do some lateral work. Ready? So we'll start with a circle. Bring the shoulders in. Keep going straight. Not too much stress or effort. Look what a dressage queen you are. You're so good. So even though Sierra knows the treat protocol, every now and again she might forget, right? So I always use every opportunity to reinforce good behaviors, good habits, and remind her of what I like or don't like as well. How you feeling? Oh, I, feel so much better. I use this opportunity to check over parts of her body that in the past were tight and I find them softer. So I know she's been doing great work with her owner. I feel so much better. I love it. I love it. You look great. How are you feeling? It's pretty clear she's asking for a treat. So here's a chance to give it to her and train her. So she knows she's not going to get that treat unless her nose is in front of her shoulders and definitely not on top of me. And any slight change from where she is now will be rewarded. You got it? You got it. Well, here, you know, she's thinking, hey, I asked for a treat and I got one. So I'm going to ask again. But I want to make it clear that I don't like having her in my space right now. And so I use a trick from Mark Langley and I behave just like a mare would in a similar situation. <laughs> Come on, you gotta have a sense of humor. <laughs> All right, so for months, We've been working on improving Sierra's proprioception, helping her to unlock her pole and use her hind legs for impulsion. We've been working on her lateral flexion. And now I want to help her, not just with vertical flexion, but with really stretching down and over her back. We want bascule. So I am for the first time trying to find a way to help her find this beautiful posture. So now you see what my strategy is. I'm going to reward verbally and with treats whenever she does the right thing. 
Now this is just maybe a minute or two later and look how much better she is at finding that posture. With just my encouragement okay, you ready? and uh, my verbal and sort of postural guidance. No, get your hands off. No, yes. Yes. How exciting is this? She has found the posture and she's holding it. Just too good. You are brilliant. Just brilliant. Brilliant. My brilliant student and teacher. That's you. You should be proud. You're amazing. You're just amazing. Oh, her exhale made me so happy. <laughs> and now we are going to move to the right, which is usually her more stiff side. And look how wonderfully she finds the posture. There. Good girl. Say hello. There. Hello. Ready? Beautiful! Oh my goodness gracious! Oh my goodness gracious! No, stay low, stay low. There, no. Stay low. Yes! Amazing. Amazing. So she was able to find the posture at the walk and through the transition to trot and hold it for quite a few strides. We're done. So now I just want to finish off with a few more suppling exercises. We go from the Patrick King in hand work to shoulder in. Um, and I'm just having fun moving her around and getting her to feel where her body is in space, uh, shoulder turn, you know, uh, rain back, anything to help her just connect with me and feel the intention. And she's so good at that. And here, our last move is I start her on a sort of a shoulder in on the circle or a crab walk, but to just break her anticipatory pattern, I switch it into a bring your body towards me cue. And look how sweetly and calmly she's able to respond. What a great session.